Hey guys, this is CTG and I'm once again doing a playthrough of an old game. This time it will be Disney's Aladdin, uh, made in 1993 by Virgin and Sega. So, uh, what I will do is set the difficulty on the highest, which is of course difficult. I'll switch off the music and uh, I'll tell you more later. I'll set the triggers like so. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so for those of you who uh, who watched the 1990 movie, uh, you'll be familiar with the story, but for the rest of you, uh, it goes like this. In Agrabah, a faraway land of wind and sand, a young street rat named Aladdin must steal to survive. Meanwhile, Jafar, the Sultan's advisor, plots to take over the kingdom by stealing a magic lamp from the perilous Cave of Wonders. Our story begins in the dark night. Jafar, haven't you found him yet? How much longer do I gotta keep running on this thing? So that would be Iago, the uh, pet bird of the villain. Quiet, Iago. Yeah, that's Jafar. I must know who can enter into the Cave of Wonders, so Jafar is the main bad guy of this story. Ah, a young thief. We must extend him an invitation to the palace, and by invitation, he probably means uh, a path full of enemies <laughs> that we have to fight through. So this guy is Aladdin. He will be the hero of this story. Let's uh, see if our controls work. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I have to jump over these and kill the enemies. So on the top left, you see a, a magic lamp with some smoke sticking out of it, that will be my health bar. The smoke indicates how much health I have. The longer it is, the more health I have remaining. On the lower left, you can see uh, a face of guy. Uh, that will be my lives remaining. I have two lives remaining, so I can die twice more before I get reset to zero. And that will mean that I am on my last leg. On my right, or on the lower right, you will see it. An apple with a number beside it, so that will basically be the, the ammunition I have uh, available for this game. Speaking of which, yeah, I can use apples here as ammunition. Watch this. Like that. Yeah, it does take away it, and uh, the more I use them, well, not really, uh, the more I use them, the, the less I have going forward. But the difference between uh, this game is that. Uh, when I get 99 apples, that's the max this game, I will no longer be able to get any more apple. I mean, I can get them for points, but that will not increase the apple count. I will still remain at 99. So when I get my 100 apple, it will stay at 99. So let's use those. Okay. Yeah, I took damage there. Get this guy. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, uh, the number beside that is a gem. I, the gems here are used for money, are, are used as money, so I can exchange them for extra lives and extra continues. Okay. Gotta jump. Yeah, these things fall. So I need to be careful. Oh, well, not really. I just need to uh, yeah, jump in time to avoid getting dropped. This thing is a save jar. When I touch it, uh, it allows me to save at this point. You can see, it converts it to a genie space. Ow. Yeah, that means when I die at this point, I will just return to that same point where I uh, where I lost my health earlier. So, let's uh, delete this guy. <laughs> We're using euphemisms for kill now. <laughs> okay. Delete that guy. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah, we just want to use our apples as much as possible because, uh, again, the apples are finite, uh, or, or rather, the apples do not uh, go on indefinitely. Uh, when I get 99, I will no longer be able to get any more, so I might as well use them. Yeah, it's just bad macro to not use these apples. So this is where I can buy the extra lives. You can see I currently have 10 gems. If I press up on this, it will get me an extra life. 
Whereas if I press up on this, it will give me extra wish. A wish is basically a continue. If I run out of lives, uh, the game will check if I have extra continues remaining. If I don't, the game will end. If I do, it will give me a choice as to whether I want to continue, or if I want to, uh, yeah, if I want to leave. And there we go, that is level 1 completed. So this is the hardest part actually. Because, yeah, <laughs> if, what, if I click on Jafar even once, the game the round ends. Oh, and I haven't actually explained that uh, that part. Oh well, uh, we'll just do Abu and Agrabah Agraba first. This is a bonus level, we get this, we unlock this level by... Uh, Getting the Abu token in the in the earlier level. So what we do there, or what we do here, is uh, simply try to dodge the pots and the falling stuff. Basically, uh, avoid getting killed. Uh, Abu has one health. The very first instance is that, that he gets hit, the level ends, and it doesn't force you to repeat. And it doesn't make you lose a life on Aladdin, but it does. Uh, it does end the bonus round. So we want we actually want to finish this by completing all of the obstacles rather than uh, dying prematurely. Okay, just keep collecting or just keep dodging these things. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Like so. All right. And uh, yeah, just keep dodging these things. Oh man, that was, that was close. <laughs> Okay. Woohoo! Okay. Oh. And you just gotta die. Apparently these are barrels. <laughs> you would and from from uh, from the perspective it doesn't they don't look like barrels, but yeah, apparently they are. Alright. You just gonna keep dodging these things. And oh, yeah, this last obstacle, and there we go. We have completed this round. There we go. <laughs> so we will continue with the story. Having escaped from the guards, Aladdin is approached by an ancient beggar. There's a cave boy. A cave of wonders, filled with enough treasure to make all your dreams come true. Of course, that guy looks very trustworthy. You can see it uh, in the wink of his eye. To find it, you must find the two halves of a magic scarab. The first half is lost in the desert. So let's go get that scarab because Aladdin wants his dreams come true. The desert! There we go, we have 99 apples, so let's start using them. Uh, there we go. Yeah, now let's collect these. There we go. Extra life, that is nice. Okay. Use this camel. And yeah, use our apples. Because using apples is a very smart thing to do. There we go. And there's a snake here. Oh wow, how many? How much health does this thing have? It takes three apples to kill it. Okay. Oh man, now it's like maybe it was just missing. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, get rid of that guy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I dropped here. Since there's a there's a secret there, uh, as, as you may have heard, it allowed me to get extra extra uh, gems. Okay, let's get the save point. Yeah, let's just keep our apples so that we can keep collecting these uh, these pickups. <laughs> we gotta keep using our apples. Uh oh, I dropped. That's unfortunate. But let's just uh, return here, like so. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if I have, if I have, uh, if I had, if I were damaged here, I would have been able to get extra health bubbles here. But since I'm at perfect health, I don't need it, so it will not appear. I like that. I, I like that about this game. It only shows the pickups if I need it. But if I don't, it will just allow me to continue on with the game. Speaking of continue, let us do that. Swing here. Yeah, there's another guy at the bottom. Let's go meet him. Ouch. Yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Got another health, or got another life, rather. In a second, I will, I will come down. There we go. Okay, there's a guy here. Let's 
get that. Oh, that's unfortunate. We weren't able quite, quite, uh, quite finish him off, but now we will. There we go. Get this. And jump here. Okay. So there will be a parrot here. Uh, we actually need to shoot that down as well. There we go. Collect these things. Let's try to see if we can hit that guy from here. There we go. Okay. Oh. Okay, another one. You can see I'm quite liberal with using the apples because... Uh, yeah, I have so much ammunition. And there are so many apple pickups in the early game. That it doesn't really matter how much I how much I waste of them. I just keep deleting this guy. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just use these apples liberally. Whee! Oh, there's there are more apples there. All right, let's go back here. Oh, I actually I actually shouldn't have purchased that life. Like I said, there are there are a lot of pickups here, including uh, including one ups. So I probably should have just uh, used that on the wish instead. But anyway, it's already here, so I won't say no to that. Let's just jump off here, and... Haha! -ha, you're gonna damage me? No, sir. Okay, there's a snake here. Delete that. There we go. I'm gonna pick up the apples along the way. Watch Abu uh, hop on that guy. Okay. Let's uh, get that scarab. So that will complete the level, and now I can't explain properly how the bonus level works. So you can look at the left side of the map, there's a genie with a number, and it also shows the amount of stuff I have, 10 gems, 93 apples, and 7 lives. So the number of genies will determine how many charges I get for this uh, for this bonus round. If I press once, you see that yeah, the number decreases by 1, at least I have 4 charges remaining, so let's try to use them all. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you can see... Oh, once I hit Jafar, the genies immediately go to zero. Well done, Street Rat. The second half of the scarab is Agrabah in the possession of a clever thief. So we will continue now with the Agrabah market. Or oh, rooftops, rather. <laughs> Alright. So, this is supposedly... Uh, in this level, we were supposed to have already met Jasmine here, but we have not. That is interesting. Because in, uh, that will make the uh, next next cutscene interesting. You can see that there's a one health there. I can't get that by doing a super jump, and to do that, I need to run off this ledge and then jump. Press jump before I hit the pole. Let's watch that in action. There we go. Easy. Okay. Get rid of the snake. There we go. There's music here, by the way. Uh. Yeah, there's music here, but due to YouTube copyright stuff, I'm not actually able to add all the music. Uh, otherwise, YouTube will demonetize my videos. <laughs> so in order to get around it, I will, I will just uh, play this uh, play this game without any music on and just add the soundtracks later. Of course, these are all in-game sounds. I'm not adding any other copyright stuff. I mean, aside from the ones that are in the game, which just happened to be uh, owned by Disney, but yeah, even the, it, look, even the characters. If you if you if you watch the movie, even the bad guys or some of them at least look identical to the uh, to the ones uh, in the movie. So there's another guy here, but we don't. Oh, well, we might as well purchase an, uh, an extra wish. Might as well. There we go. Get these because. They provide me extra points, even though the points themselves don't really do me much. Don't, do, don't really do much of anything. There we go. Oh, dodge that. Yeah, these pots contain gems, so we should break them and get those gems. There we go. Ooh, nice. Yeah, they give me free apples. Okay, use these. There we go. Okay. There we go, kill that guy, and then jump down here. We will get that pot later, I I know you've, you've seen it. I will get that later. Ok, 
collecting this gem here. We want to collect the gems because, ooh, nice. Yeah, because the gems are what we use for money. The more gems I have, the more money I will, uh, the more spending power I have. There we go. Oh, it got damaged there. That's unfortunate. I should use my apples more. It's something that, even when I was younger, I often neglected to get. And when I was younger, yeah, I, I did have an easier time on this. But then again, I was playing on the lowest difficulty setting. <laughs> so, uh, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> okay, get rid of that guy. There's another one here. Delete them. And there's another secret on top. Let's try to get that. There we go. Another super jump. Another jump here. Yeah, so this part and the first three maps are still quite easy, so we shouldn't really be having any difficulty with them. Or not much at least. Try to get that. By the way, uh, some of you might uh, might have a bit of trouble here. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I'm not gonna judge. Uh, I'll just... I won't assume that you will you know how to go about this place, but... Uh, to get the ropes, you can see that yeah, there's supposed to be a rope off this jar, but there's there are currently none. That's because I haven't gotten the flute yet. The flute allows these pots to conjure the ropes. But, oh, that guy dodged me. Oh, normally I don't... Normally, this guy doesn't even uh, get that far. Yeah, there we go. There's a, there's another scar. And here we have the flute. Once we collect that, the rope will spawn out of this, uh, out of this pot. So let's get that. You can see... As, as long as I have fewer than 99 apples, it will give me those free things. Yeah, like, like that. There we go. Alright, now let's do the boss battle. Yeah, by the way, uh, a, remi a reminder for the next cutscene. It will look weird, but uh, we were supposed to have met Princess Jasmine, but something about the development of this game may be that we, ne we were never properly introduced to Princess Jasmine. She is the love interest She is the love interest of Aladdin in the movie, so for those of you who have not seen it, uh, yeah, just uh, realize that they were supposed to have met uh, in Agrabah when Princess Jasmine fled the palace because she was bored of the, uh, the princess life. Of course, Aladdin was... Uh, was dreaming about that sort of life. <laughs> he, wanted be, he wanted to be a princess. Or live in a palace. Because he was a street rat. Anyway, we have five charges. Got a gem. We got a gem. <laughs> I'm terrible at that game. Okay, so this bonus level will be just a repeat of the one that we already did. Abu and Agrabah. So it's the same thing. It's the same pattern. And so let's try to do this. Okay. Okay, just dodge those things. There we go. Gem, nice gem. I like gems. They are money. Okay, collect this. Oh. Collect that. And dodge. There we go. Oh. Gotta dodge these things. Oh. Oh. Almost got hit there. There we go. Did get hit. Nice. Alright. Same pattern, there's gonna be another guy there, and I think, yeah, this, it's, t it's the barrel time. It's barrel time! Just jump over these, and yeah, and jump, and yeah, just keep jumping. We will eventually, or they will eventually run out of barrels. It's a shame they're just rolling these barrels around. Uh, could have been used for carry cargo and stuff. Oh, almost up. Uh, almost died there. Oh, oh. Aha! Oh, oh. Aww. Oh well, nice try. Yeah, it's the same pattern, so you've already seen how to beat it. So, yeah. With both halves of the scarab, Aladdin is ambushed unexpectedly by the palace guard, so yeah, that sort of that whole level was sort of a waste. You won't get away this time, thief. It's the Sultan's dungeon for you. Unhand that prisoner by order of the princess. So yeah, this uh, this lady on the right is Princess Jasmine. So she disguised herself as uh, as yeah 
a, a beggar? Sorry, princess, you'll have to take it up with your far. She disguised herself as a commoner. Oh, cast into the soulless dungeon. Aladdin can think only of Jasmine, the girl from the marketplace. Would he ever have a chance with the princess? See, so yeah, once again, uh, Jasmine disguised herself as a commoner so that she can sneak out of the palace. I'm not sure why she suddenly decided to reveal herself. In the movie, she has taken liking to Aladdin, uh, which is why, uh, yeah, she uh, she revealed her identity to the guards. Yeah, get rid of that. And jump. these cultists are annoying. <laughs> oh god, getting it down. There we go. So this is the level where the uh, the annoying stuff begin. Because you gotta jump, you gotta time it. You, you have to time your jumps in addition to placing them right. Oh. Yeah. So we're just waiting for these. The uh, the music, by the way, if you hear it, it means that uh, YouTube somehow allowed me to use a copyrighted piece of music. But this is Arabian Nights, or the music here rather is Arabian Nights from the movie. Ouch. I got hit twice? That's not fair. Okay, let's get revenge on this buddy. This skeleton buddy. There we go. Save point. Quite a... Uh, quite appreciated. Oh man, uh, what is not appreciated is uh, the fact that I missed the jump. Oh well, we're up here now, so let's just continue. Ouch. Those bats are so annoying. Ah, oh, so hard to... So, uh, to kill these bats, I use the, uh, the left-right switch. Yeah, like that. The thing is, it sometimes derps out and, uh, yeah, forces a light to look up instead of just continuing the attacking motion. Oh well. Never really understand how that works, so let's try to get rid of that bat. There we go. And now, get rid of... Oh. Hammer jumps and get rid of the uh, the sword guys. Uh oh, run! Okay, try to get rid of that guy, the skeleton guy. So the ouch. It's not cool, man. It hit me twice. Now my health is low. Oh man. Now I need to watch out. Okay, at least we have a save point here. So if I ever if I ever die. Okay, let's at least continue for me. The bad, but the bad news is, if I die, all my apples get reset to five. So everything that I've gathered will have been for nothing, because uh, yeah, it resets it resets all my resources. Oh man. Okay. Speaking of apples, let's just keep collecting these. Got another save. Get rid of that guy, and wait for. The platforms, there we go. Got a health balloon. Okay, yeah. It's very it's really better to be patient here because uh when you're low health, you're actually not you actually don't have a lot of room for errors. Yeah, not not interested in getting those apples today. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh man, I almost got hit there. With my health being this low, I can't really afford to get hit by random things. Okay. Collect these gems. I'm almost done for the level. I just need to get this gem to go. There we go. Yeah, I'm essentially done here. Oh man! I keep getting hit by that sword guy. But I will complete the level. Level 4. So now we will resume the difficult part of having to not hit. Jafar. <laughs> well, it was a nice try. Give me this Scarab Street Rat and I will show you the way to the Cave of Wonders. The Cave of Wonders uh, does exist in this universe, but it does have a twist. Go on, boy. Take nothing but the lamp and you can return for the treasure. <laughs> Jafar, could you hurry up? I'm dying in here. Far easier to steal the lamp from a street rat than from the Cave of Wonders. The 
the Cave of Wonders. So for those of you who don't know the story of Aladdin, uh, the Cave of Wonders is where the magic lamp is located. The magic lamp, of course, uh, contains the genie. Whoever has possession of the magic lamp will have control of the genie and will get three wishes. Okay. The thing is, the Cave of Wonders is surrounded by all this other treasure that, uh, yeah, if you're not allowed to touch these, if you touch them, uh, the cave will get angry with you and seal itself. The, the cave, by the way, is a tiger face. Or has a tiger face. And it does talk and stuff. But if you make it angry by touching its stuff, or touching the stuff that you it, it did not specifically allow you to touch, it will get angry. It will seal you, seal you in the cave. Okay. Got rid of that. Yeah, I want nothing to do with that. I want nothing to do with that Shiva statue. Oh wait, I actually need to kill that statue because it's, it's part of my mission objectives to destroy these statues. So the way I kill these statues is face in one direction, force them to move, and then, yeah. Okay, ouch. And then slash in order to kill them. Did that bat just respawn? Oh, that sucks. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay. Get back up. So right now I don't need this health bubble here because I'm at full health. Or close to full health. Ouch. I will get this if I'm in need, but for now I don't seem to have a dire need for- Ouch. Okay, that was really bad. <laughs> okay. Once again, back at reasonable health. Okay. Try not to get hit by an annoying bat. Okay, we will get that health, which is nice. Try to hit that bat. Oh well. Did get some of them. Okay, kill the statue. There we go. Got another save point. Oh. Oh, these bats are so annoying. Oh man. Well, could have been worse. Yeah, get rid of that. Bats are so annoying. There we go. We will get another wish here. We have 35 gems, might as well spend them. Yeah, there we go. Cha -cha -ching! Love that sound. Get these health, and now I will face a bonus round. This uh, this statue, I don't believe, appears in the movie, but we will need to face this. Uh, the way we do that is uh, alternate between these podiums and spam the slash button while ouch. Yeah, just spam the slash button so that uh, so that it it doesn't hit us. Yeah. I think that was, yeah, that was uh, the last one. Now let's collect the genie and wait for our carpet to take us to our destination. The carpet, by the way, the magic carpet is a character in the movie. For those of you who are not aware, it does help Aladdin out. Seems to be a really nice, great guy. Great guy. Ouch. Those fish are not in the movie, and they're not great either. They're evil fish. Because they are... Yeah, they're evil. <laughs> that's 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 basically that. They're evil fish. Okay, so I went by a a secret path here. <laughs> the normal path is actually, is actually yeah, the one on the left, but I I can't. Ooh, look at that land doing that uh, thing. <laughs> there we go. Collect that magic lamp and complete the level. So we will have another round of uh, the bonus. Oh well. One gem is nice. Don't really need it yet. Okay, we have Abu in the cave. Next. Yeah, Abu in the cave. So it will, it will, it's another bonus round, but it's different from the early one since we are in the cave now. So, yeah, let's wait for the gems to fall down. There we go. Wait for those rocks to fall. Collect that and run back here. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how this works. Everything falls on that side. Even that thing. Get on this. 
There we go. There gonna be bats there. Try to kill them before they damage me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Those bats are so annoying. Nice try though. Yeah. All right. So what happened here is, infidels, Abu touched a gem. <laughs> you have touched the forbidden treasure. Yeah, that's why the cave got all angry. You can see the tiger face. Now you will never again see the light of day. The tiger face is talking. It got angry with us because we touched the treasure. So now we will have to escape. So we are still in the Cave of Wonders, and now it turned itself into this, uh, this lava thing. This volcano-esque thing. That, uh... Yeah, we need to escape. Those rocks are one-hit kill. If we get hit at all, it's game over. Or, it's, uh, yeah, it's... And if we get hit at all, we, uh, we basically die. <laughs> we have no room for error here. Our jumps basically need to be perfect. If they're poorly timed, we fall into a very hot death. Of course, we turn into a very hot, uh very hot person indeed. <laughs> oh, I lost my train of thought there. Yeah, I need to jump these. And zip. And there's a third one. And jump. The third one, you might have seen that I extend a little bit before I jumped. Because, uh, yeah, that's how it works. And jump. There we go. I almost died there. Alright. Okay, collect this. Avoid that. Bat, annoying bat, and here's another difficult part. Oh, oh, oh man. You can see that the apple's all reset to five, and I'll have to redo this whole level. Oh man. I was I was feeling so proud of myself too for uh, having reached that far without resetting. I normally don't reach that far before I die. <laughs> for good reason, these jumps are very difficult. Okay. Oh, I missed that. I missed those uh, those apples. Those would be really nice, nice to have. But I will get more here. There we go. Just collect these things. Another apple, and run for it. Run. Jump. There we go. First one down. Second one. Jump. Third one, and jump. There we go. Okay, now we see a, a one life there. Jump! Because we did lose our life, that means we need the we need the lives again. <laughs> That's why they appear. Okay, all the apples are appearing now because we do need them. Because we run out of we ran out of ammo. Oh, try not to fall. There we go. We're finally past that point. Okay, collect these apples and now. There's one last rock. We need to dodge that thing. And jump. Try to collect these before we fall onto carpet. There we go. Two attempts, not that bad. Level complete. We will have another round of... Uh... Yeah. Well, at least we're back to nine lives, so that's all that matters. Actually, I lied. I, I really want to get those apples. But we will have more chances to collect these apples. On this rug ride, this is sort of I've I've heard this is a bonus round, but normally you want to complete this anyway. Because if you play this for too long, with the, with the frame with the kind of frame rate I have, I actually have a high frame rate for this uh for this uh game. Because I'm playing I'm using a 2017 computer. I'm using a, a PC built in 2017 to play a game that was made in 1993. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely overpowered, so I'm getting more frames, so, but as a consequence, it's slightly dizzying to play because the frame rate is so high. It's starting to get hectic. Uh, I don't remember the order of, uh, of the directions. So basically all I have to do here is dodge. Dodge these rocks. And they're getting faster and faster. Whoop. Oh. I lost a life. Let's try it again. Maybe I'll try to talk less so that uh, so I can focus on focus on the apples. I'll I'll see if I can have the music here. Yeah. But if not, that's quite unfortunate because uh, the mu I don't even recall this music. 
of the music here in the in the movie. Maybe it was fo it was actually focused on what happened in the movie to uh, to listen to what kind of music there is. Okay, next one is up. There we go. Where's the next one? Down. We only got 15 apples. Despite all the stuff we're collecting, this because these are apple quarters, not whole apples. That means uh, we need to collect four to get an apple. Okay, start get hectic now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. And up. Oh. Up. Oh, up. Oh. oh, that was close. Oh, down. Question marks always down. Okay. Oh. And up. Oh. Almost up. Almost died there. Oh. Down. And up. Oh. Up. Oh. Down. Up. Oh. Almost died there. Ooh. All right. Two attempts. Not bad. Level complete. Got busy playing that. Man, that frame rate. All right, we will have another round here. <laughs> that wasn't very good. In the last instant before freedom, the mouth of the Cave of Wonders collapses, trapping Aladdin and Abu inside. When Aladdin inspects his prize, he is suddenly swept into a strange world within the lab. By the way, some of you might not know, uh, Abu is a monkey. He was with Aladdin in the beginning, uh, from the very beginning. It, it, just, it just wasn't mentioned. Now we are inside the lab because we are sucked into the lab apparently. So let's uh, yeah, gather these apples because we need the apples. <laughs> we need the apples. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, it's really it's really painful when we die because our apples get reset to five. More than anything, yeah, that's the worst part about dying. Your apples get reset. Ooh, more apples here. Nice. All right. Oh. I really hope the music doesn't get uh, doesn't get blocked because I really like this music. Oh, you know what? I'll try to do it. You know, I'll try to do a super jump. Oh, uh, oh, jump, drop and then jump. Nice. It does work. All right. Go here. And then okay, nothing there. There we go. The balloons are starting. We can grab onto the, the beard of the balloons. So that's Genie, by the way, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. Uh, he's Aladdin's friend, and supposedly he only starts appearing in, uh, when, when Aladdin uh, gets trapped in the Cave of Wonders with the lamp. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh man, that really sucks. My apples get reset to five. Oh man. I normally don't even die there. That was really terrible. I didn't even... I wasn't even planning to... Uh, to get much here. I will get that health... One, that one health though. Okay, collect here. Oh, then jump down. There we go. Oh man, that sucks. Having, having your apples reset to five is really terrible. Oh well. Let's try to move on from our unfortunate... Our unfortunate mishap. Okay, there we go. Move on. Okay. Jump there. Okay. Oh. There we go. And drop on there. So we don't need to jump. Just walk off. And... Okay. This part is tricky. Oh man. Jump, jump, there we go, nice. All right, let's keep going. Okay, you know, we're just gonna slide on through that up, uh, that thing, whatever that is. <laughs> Might be Genie. Okay, oh, and jump. Oh man, that thing's tiny, as I, uh, I was saying. <laughs> okay, jump, and try not to fall. All right, nice. Got a gem. And jump. And jump. 
Oh, trying to fall. Oh. Oh. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm back to nine, nine lives. That's pretty nice. All right, level complete. I was actually not expecting to uh, to get over that part. So it turns out that that one that one time I died was really stupid. Oh man, didn't really get any, didn't really get anything. I did get two lives, but I'm already at nine. Free from the magic lamp, the genie helps Aladdin escape the Cave of Wonders. With the lamp in his possession, Aladdin races back to the Palace of Agrabah and Princess Jasmine. <laughs> so now, she, so now he knows Princess Jasmine. <laughs> so let's continue. Sultan's Palace. The Sultan is Princess Jasmine's father, but we never actually meet him in the game, so that's uh, slightly unfortunate. It doesn't really matter though. Okay, we'll try to gather as, much, as many apples as possible here. Okay, yeah, we will need to use our sword more often because we want to save, we want to save on our apples here. Okay. Yeah, we can deflect. Can deflect these uh, these rings and hurl them back at the fish and other uh, other enemies. Of course, Iago is being annoying. Yeah, I like how we can just randomly step on these flamingos, but not the fish. I guess it makes sense. Fish are harder to step on than. Well, not really. <laughs> yeah, this is a game. It makes no sense. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get on that carpet and try to defend ourselves. Oh, jump! Nice, we actually got that health. I like it. Alright, just gotta take care of those dudes and jump over here and jump. Oh, oh I fell. That's unfortunate. I'll have to do this part again. There we go. Got it. Okay. Care of that and get on, make sure we get on the carpet. There we go. I like how it randomly drops off at, uh, <laughs> yeah, at various locations, but not really where we need to be. I guess it helps us collect these stuff, but if it really wanted help, it, it, it should probably start moving a bit slower. Just so. Uh... Okay, collect this. Delete that guy. This is a Sultan's throne? It's, it's an elephant. Ouch. Yeah, delete that guy. Hey, come on. Let me get on. Ouch. That's so uncool. <laughs> okay, ouch. I really need to stop getting hit. Oh. Ouch. Oh! I got hit twice! That's so annoying. Does it bring me up yet? Okay. I should try to uh, not get hit here. Jump! There we go. Just need the parrot here. Get rid of that guy. And move on to the next part. I really hope I don't die here. And we're gonna start using my apples. I really don't wanna get, get reset again. Okay. No time for that. Oh, I missed, I missed, a, I missed a gem. That's unfortunate. But we will finish this level. Oh, not yet, apparently. Uh, I forgot about this part. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, so in this part, we will need to defeat Iago. He's been running on that treadmill for all this time. Okay. Yeah, get rid of that. So we're just, we're just timing this. Uh, the best time to throw apples is after we kill the ghost. Level complete. Now we'll have another round of bonus. All right. Oh, just one. Oh, well, at least we were able to use it. Distracted by Iago, Aladdin recovers to find the lamp is missing. Oh, I wonder where it could have gotten. Oh, my gasp. Good work, Iago. Now that I have the lamp, nothing will prevent me from ruling off of Agrabah. <laughs> Jafar's palace. So, this is the same palace. What happened is... Uh, Jafar got hold of the lamp, and he got he became master of the genie, and his first wish was to be the ruler, of, or to be the. I actually forgot what his first wish was, but he did turn himself. 
into the de facto ruler of Agrabah. That means, yeah, this this was the Sultan's palace, but now, but now, uh, he turned into this. I have to say, I like the I like the snakes in the background. I wonder if they're just for decoration, or if they're, if they're actual snakes, or if they're statues or something. I don't know. I don't know. So many questions for the dead team. <laughs> okay, get rid of that. This guy will start throwing knives at me, but he will just uh, deflect it to himself. Okay. Jump. And duck. Jump. And duck. Okay. Run, run over and delete that guy. Okay. Try to avoid getting hit. So far, we're, we're still in good health. There's another. Okay, I think I heard that the right sound. Ouch. It was not a good. It was not a good sound. Oh, oh man, I fell. And my apples got reset to five. That's the really the absolute worst part about this, this whole thing. Getting reset to five apples, because you really need apples for the last level. Oh man, I got hit again. That's unfortunate. Okay, jump and jump. There we go. Yeah, take care of these guys, collect that apple. Ouch. I really shouldn't I really should be getting hit at this point again. Oh man. Alright, let's resume. Collecting these things. Okay, I got an apple there. I think I might go for yeah, this thing here. This health bubble. This health bubble. I did need it earlier because I was at full health. But now I do. <laughs> I do need it. Okay. Jump. Duck. And jump. And duck. And jump. Alright. Nice. Ooh, that was actually a close one. I almost got hit there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not wasting apples on you. <laughs> okay. Jump. Okay. Nice. Oh man, that was close. Woohoo! I almost died there. Okay, jump, duck. Okay, that was close. Jump, duck. And jump, duck. Or <laughs> jump, run, run, jump. Bah, bah. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Alright, got a save point. Okay, we just need to spam our abilities so that we don't get damaged. Oh man! I'm losing health again. It's really, it's really not a good, good place to lose health because we are so close to the final boss, and we really need a lot of health for that. We really do, <laughs> because uh, the maneuvers on that part are quite difficult. We can't really afford to keep losing health like this. Oh, this hurts me. Okay, try to collect that blue, the health balloon. Okay, so I got that at least. Okay. Oh man! Ah! Oh! oh man! I don't even normally, I don't even normally get hit there. I'm really messing up here. Oh! Try not get hit. There we go. All right. That does give me a bit of health back, but I there's still so much. There's still so many enemies here. All right. So there's actually a rope. <laughs> Can we get back down? Oh man. That bird. It's a bird. It's not a plane, it's just a bird. <laughs> okay. More apples? Really nice. Okay. I'm at a good I'm actually a good health I'm actually at a good health count right now. All I need to do is not get not get damaged too much. That's why I'm spamming I'm spamming the attack commands. Okay, I think we're at the final battle now. Okay. Oh. So what I need to do here is spam the slash button so that when I, whenever I get pulled in to Jafar, I will just bounce off without actually getting damaged. So attack in this form is just uh, it's just basically it's basically uh, spamming that magnetic thing. Okay. It's the tricky part. Oh man. 
Ninja. Oh, I'm almost out of apples. Oh man, I'm out of apples. Okay, I need to do this. Oh man, oh man. That, that is not, this is not going well. Okay. Oh, nice! Level complete! First try. Alright. Well, second try, I fell down on the first one. But, yeah, we will complete the game. That is the ending cutscene, Aladdin and Jasmine, even though we never really... The connection was never really established at any point in the game. They, they, they just sort of, uh, yeah, they just sort of are a thing. In this, maybe the, ga the game assumes that you've watched the movie. If you haven't, do watch the movie. Also, play this game. I will link to the game down below if you want, if you're interested in it. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for it, I'll see you. Please leave that in a comment. See you.